So another quick detour into surgery land here. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to tap into this J17 section right here underneath the Wi-Fi plug on the Robin Nano 2.1. I'm going to grab the ground, the TX, and the RX, and that will allow me to plug into the ground, RX, and TX pins here on the MKS Pi. And what that will do is it allows me to run serial UART directly to the Pi without having to use the USB plug on the front. I already changed the firmware, tested it out with some Arduino leads, and it works. So what I'm going to do is take this little cable that I made, basically just a couple of DuPont connectors on the end of three wires. I don't need the 5 volt and it says on here NC, which is no connection. So three wires connected via this little guy here. I have to take the board out, solder the pin header on, plug it in, and we should be winter chicken dinner. Don't try this at home, kids. So we got it lined up. Just about to just drop a little bit of solder on there. First one's going to be the hardest one to keep it from falling out. I don't want to disconnect everything and trying to do it the quick, cheap, and easy way. So let's see how this all works out. This will be warm enough in a second. First dab will do you, and the rest of them will just fall in, I hope. And that's it. My soldering skills are terrible. But it's connected. I just powered it up. And like I said, I changed the firmware. So in the firmware, there's a serial port 2. It's already defined. You just have to find it inside of the configuration.h. Because of the Mike Lee stuff that I added to the latest greatest firmware, there was already this if enabled has Wi-Fi, but I put in this or condition and said, if enabled has Pi, to open up these two settings. Because the has Pi, I added to the top of my modified firmware, where I just have to enable or disable it right here. And says, uncomment if you want to connect a Pi type device to the serial UART under the Wi-Fi socket. So I'll go back to Octoprint, hit connect, and in a perfect world, there she goes. She's on, she's connected, no USB to speak of, connecting directly through the serial UART here. And I don't want to move it too much because it's laying up on its side, but X, there she goes, it moves. What I'm gonna do now is I want to try and find a good home for the Pi. I do have a seven inch touch screen, but I've been having issues with OctoDash. So this is going to continue to run headless until I can figure out what the heck is going on with that. So for the time being, it's just gonna ride back behind the machine and not get in anybody's way. And now that I don't have the USB cable, I don't have to snake it underneath the machine and hope for the best. So that was it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy this kind of content, keep watching because there's <laughs> there's still going to be plenty of this. This is uh, this is my bread and butter on this channel. Rip things apart, modify them, make them better, or make some magic smoke happen. According to my metrics, there's at least 70 to 75 percent of you that are watching my videos that haven't subscribed yet. So if you haven't, please, please, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps out with kind of getting the point across, if you will. And it helps with the algorithm. You know, the more people like and subscribe, the more the videos show up in searches and 
things like that. And the more it helps the community. And that's really what my ultimate goal is just to help the community and kind of inspire people to do the same. So thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.